We are now joined by Lekon Otuvodouni of the Wale Shoinka Investigative uh, Journalism uh, to take a look at how journalists on the covering of COVID-19 are going about their reportage. Thank you very much, Lekon, for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How concerned are you about journalists on the field with forecast of more infections due to the rainy season? Come again. I said, how concerned are you um, about the welfare of journalists on the field with a forecast by the PTF of more infections due to the rainy season? Well, uh, I, I am very concerned as a journalist. I think uh, it's important that journalists are regarded as part of the people on the front line. And because they are there, they are exposed to uh, likely infection. And so it's important that we need to make measures that can ensure their safety. I will sacrifice to be on the front line, to report, to bring information, and let other people be printed. They should not be exposed to this kind of danger. So I am very concerned, and there is need for some urgent measures. What is your assessment of the level of compliance among journalists to uh, the laid down guidelines set by the NCDC to contain the spread of the virus? Well, uh, I'm aware that uh, many media houses are doing their best to ensure that uh, their journalists practice what they are reporting. But I think uh, we can do better. Because even now, you still see journalists going to some assignments without the necessary protection. Some people work with TV and radio. You still see them standing so close to people. Some of them are not wearing face masks. So I think that uh, the level of compliance is not good enough. It's important that we practice what we are reporting. We are urging other people to comply. I'm hoping that uh, media houses have provisions for sanitizers. They ensure that uh, social distancing even in their newsroom. And so these are things that we must ensure compliance because we are beginning to have cases of uh, where the journalists are coming down. There are so many negative stories being reported uh, by journalists and some forget that these people reporting the stories are also human and they may have some repercussion, psychological impact. How would you suggest journalists maintain a level of sanity so that they can re continue to report with, uh, without bias? Well, I think uh, the matter of mental health is very, very important because it has to do with the mind. Every day, journalists go out to cover traumatic events like we are talking about COVID-19. We are reporting number of deaths. And this has, uh, has some psychological implications on their health. So it's important that they are aware that they are exposed and they need to take necessary media measures. There are times where you need to step back. There are times where you need to avoid exposing yourself to traumatic events. And if you begin to see early signs, what they call early signs, things like low mood, things like low appetite, drop in weight, lots of interest in the things that you need to be very excited about, these are early warning signs. And journalists are not superhuman. The same way every other human being starts feeling all these mental uh, issues, you need to pay attention. Newsrooms have to have positions for uh, even some some opportunity to, to take a break, especially when people are exposed. All right, let, let's, let's talk about this fear about job losses. Uh, I mean, the, there is a lot of scare of how uh, the pandemic is affecting the nation's economy, globally even. How affected do you think journalists will be by the job cuts uh, currently um, being um, seen around the country? Well, the truth is that uh, the media is business. It's social service, but it's also business. And so if businesses and the economy are being disrupted, we need to know that they come. And they're already here. 
So we have situations where journalists are losing their jobs. Organizations are forced to cut down staff, send some people on the uh, first leave. So it's a reality that we can't run away for. So I would even advise that journalists should be prepared for this kind of job cut. And uh, maybe even the media management needs to be more proactive and see how to deploy their staff where yeah, they can avoid unnecessary costs. But it's a reality that we can run away from. And even individually, some journalists now to begin to think of other ways to utilize their media skills if they get caught up in this. It's a global trend. Uh, we won't have it in Nigeria. We have certain where people are not even paid salary. Before COVID-19, there are media houses that are not paying salary. So now there are people more excuse not to even pay salary. So journalists right. need to look into their skills, assess their skill set, and see what else they can do. Just like everybody is trying to survive. All right, Leko, thank you very much for sharing uh, your insight mm -hmm. on the matter. Do keep safe and protect yourself out there. You too. Thank you. Thank you.